What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm with the famous hare and hounds in Hebden Bridge taking on the animal. This is a mixed grill challenge and I'm gonna run through what's in front of me right now. So in front of me here, I have the famous animal mixed grill challenge, which consists of a 10 ounce steak, 10 ounce gammon, 12 ounce Cumberland ring, 10 ounce chicken, chips, onion rings, and mushrooms. We also have a lot of tomatoes it looks like in this thing. Now, the time to beat on this one is beard meets food time. So I have to beat 21 minutes and 30 seconds. Correction, previous record was 23 minutes and 17 seconds. In order to get this for free. If I fail, it's 44 pounds 99 and today I don't want to be shelling that out. I'm not sure where I'm going to start. I'm probably just going to start here and work my way down, um, but wish me luck guys remember if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have anything to add and if you haven't yet subscribed or followed do consider doing so before you leave this is the animal mix real challenge let's get into it in three two one let's go okay we will start with the chicken mm. It's actually cooked perfectly, flavored perfectly. I am a big fan. In all fairness, the chicken was cooked absolutely perfectly and so massive compliments to the chef. Good day foodies and welcome back to the channel where we travel near and far to take on photo worthy mm. food challenges. Chicken breast, delicious. Today we're in the beautiful town of Hebden Bridge at the famous Hare and Hounds taking on the appropriately named Animal Mixed Grill Challenge. The Animal Mixed Grill consists of 10 ounce steak, 10 ounce gammon, 10 ounce of chicken fillets, 12 ounce Cumberland sausage, an outlandish amount of chips, onion rings, tomatoes, mushrooms and salad. The chips are slightly less chips and slightly more wedges, I would say. but there are so many wedges. Okay, amazing. Let's get into the gammon steak. Very, very delicious. Um, would say I need to start getting into these chips because they are getting a little bit much underneath here. And before I start boring you with chip chat, I'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of Chipgate. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave, and I'll catch you all on the next one. <laughs> How are you getting on? Yeah, pretty good. There are a lot more chips than what I thought. Yeah. It has thrown me a little bit, but feeling confident. Yeah. Mm. Great. Yeah, the food is incredible. I just did not anticipate the whole underneath this would be chips. That's my, that might be what might slow me down. It doesn't feel like it's going down at this moment in time. Yeah. I have the Cumberland sausage, an entire steak, loads of chips, and like three, four onion rings left. But the onion rings are enormous. They're not like a normal onion ring. Let's eat the steak. Steak and chips and some salad.
that steak is done perfectly as well. Right, there's my challenge there in the middle. I can't, I can't get over. I underestimated the amount of chips on this. I underestimated it. It did not look this much. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to beat the time. I'm definitely not going to beat the time. But I guess, and gracefully, pay the fine. I'm just going to end it gracefully. Yeah? Yeah. And we're going to... Um, I'm just going to take a bit more time. <laughs> <laughs> take your time. Yeah. Chew away. You've done cracking. Well done. Well done. That's far better than what James did. Oh, yeah. Already. <laughs> so, and, and he's a six foot six. No, it's got nothing to do. Player. It's got nothing to do with size. I say this a million times. It's got nothing to do with the size of a human. It doesn't correlate. With, but yeah, definitely going to get it done. Um, just unfortunately haven't beaten the previous time, which is incredibly frustrating. I'm disappointed in myself. See, as soon as I did not beat the record, I have slowed down massively. I think that it's, there's something psychological behind it. The minute that you know that you're not winning, it, like, it kills you. Which is not great, actually, because a normal punter won't get anywhere near that in 21 minutes oh, no. and they will just lose motivation to even complete it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's the idea of a challenge, isn't it? It's got to be doable, I suppose, but... Yeah. It's also got to be a big thing to do with <laughs> So I have, like, a handful of chips, a couple pieces of sausages left, of sausage left and a little bit of salad. If you can do this, I just feel very under-motivated to. underestimated it this was my fault um i probably had a little bit too much faith in myself to be honest that was a lot i am at my absolute capacity and i've got people looking at me like how is she even talking right now um i honestly don't know i feel like i've just hit autopilot and um yeah oh my god so we weren't successful but we were successful at the same time we managed to complete the animal challenge. I did underestimate it. It's an incredible feat. It's an enormous amount of food. I still have to pay 40 for 99 um, for the pleasure of taking part. But that's just part and parcel of the game, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything to add and if you haven't yet subscribed or followed. Do consider doing so before you leave. If you are in and around the area and would like to visit, I would recommend checking out the famous Hare and Hound in Hebden Bridge. They are a lovely pub nestled away. It's beautiful landscapes all around here and I definitely recommend checking them out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yes. 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 Yes.